Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Can you believe that we are in the last few days of 2020? I am so excited for 2021 and to see what this new year is going to bring us. And for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing hobby ideas that you can try in 2021. If you've been on my channel for a while now, you'll know that every year I come out with a new hobby video so that I can present you guys with ideas of new hobbies to try for the new year. I love giving you guys hobby ideas because I think hobbies are really important to live a fun and creative life. It's always great to bring new excitement into your life by starting a new project and a new hobby. So if you like these kind of videos and you're excited to start a new hobby in 2021, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you're new so that you can join our YouTube family. So the first hobby idea that I want to give you guys is kayaking and paddle boarding. Now depending on where in the world you live, it might be a little cold for this hobby right now. I know in Canada, it is definitely too cold to go kayaking or paddle boarding. So last summer, me and Aaron spent a lot of time kayaking because there's a lake near our apartment that does kayak rentals. It was so fun to get outside, to do something active, and it was a really fun activity to do together. And also on that lake, a lot of people were doing paddle boarding as well. And it looked so much fun, especially near sunset time when people were out in the middle of the lake paddle boarding together. It just look like a really fun activity to do with your friends or your partner. So this is something that I wanted to suggest to you guys in this video and hopefully me and Aaron will be able to purchase a kayak for ourselves. We're going to save up and then maybe buy one for each other in the summertime. The next hobby idea that I want to talk about is indoor gardening. Who says you have to wait until summertime to start a gardening hobby? I've been looking on Amazon and I've been seeing these really cool indoor LED gardens. So it basically comes in a little box. You can plant seeds and then when the seeds start to grow there are LED lights on the top of the little box that help the plants grow. So even if it's really cold outside you can still grow vegetables in your apartment or your house even your bedroom if you use one of these kits. So I'll link some of them down below. This is not sponsored by any means. I just saw them on Amazon and thought they were really cool and it would be really awesome to start an indoor gardening hobby this year. Another hobby that I want to chat about that's a little bit more creative is hand lettering. So kind of like calligraphy it's an artistic way to do writing and you can use this hand lettering in a lot of different ways whether you want a bullet journal or make wall art or even decorate home decor pieces and sell them on Etsy. I'll put a couple of examples up on the screen but there's a lot of different fonts and lettering that you can teach yourself to do. It looks like something that's really satisfying and therapeutic if you're just sitting down and watching TV you can practice your hand lettering and I think it would be a really fun hobby to try in 2021. Another Another hobby that I wanted to share with you all is furniture restoration or redoing old home items. I subscribe to a few YouTube channels and follow a few Instagram pages of people that redo furniture and then sell them as a business. And what's really cool about this is that they literally find these old furniture pieces on the side of the road or at a yard sale for like $10 and then they give it a new coat of paint, they sand it down, they might add new hardware like little handles for the drawers and then they sell them for a profit of over like $200. It's such a cool business idea, but if you don't want to do it as a business, it's something that you could definitely do as a hobby. And once you get better at it, you could turn it into a business or a side hustle. I also think this would be a really cool way to get some unique furniture pieces in your house or your apartment, because if you're finding something at a thrift store or on the side of the road, and then you redo it with your own personal style, nobody else is going to have this furniture and it's going to be really fun to decorate your space with. The next hobby that I want to talk about is one that's been growing in popularity over the last couple years, and that is homesteading. So if you're not familiar with what homesteading is, it's basically a word to describe a self-sufficient lifestyle. And homesteading is an umbrella term to describe a bunch of different little hobbies or activities like cooking, growing your own food, canning, preserving, sewing, knitting, a lot of really traditional and basic activities that are looked at nowadays as being a little bit old fashioned. And I follow a few YouTube channels which are all about homesteading, which I find really interesting because I really like making things for myself and being sustainable with my lifestyle. So if this is something that interests you, I think homesteading would be really fun for you to try in 2021. One day when I have my own house, I really want to have a big vegetable garden outside and then I'm going to teach myself how to can and preserve so that I have lots of food for my family throughout the winter. Or if anything like COVID happens again, I won't have to worry about the grocery store shelves being bare. I can just 
live off of my own canning and preserving. That sounds so wholesome. I'm just so excited to get more into homesteading in 2021. I know I've mentioned starting a book club in other hobby videos that I've done, but I'm gonna mention it again because I still think it's one of the best hobbies that you can start. So one of my New Year's resolutions for 2021 is to read more books. I think it's gonna help me spend more time away from a screen. Because I work online and I love watching Netflix, I spend so much of my day looking at a screen and I don't think that's good for my eyes or my brain, my life as a whole. So I really wanna read more books and get lost in more stories. And although reading by yourself is already a really fun hobby, reading with other people just makes it that much more fun. When me and Aaron first started dating, he was still living in Newfoundland and I was here for the summer in Nova Scotia. And one of the things that we did to feel closer together was have a little book club with each other. We read Girl on the Train and we would read every single night and then the next day we would talk about what we read. And it just brought us closer together as a couple. And whether you want to do this with a partner that you're long distance with or just with a friend that you can connect with once a week, you can set out like a few chapters that you want to read together and then have it as an excuse to get together every single week and talk about what you read just to spend that time together. I love this next hobby because it makes me so excited for summer of 2021 and all the adventures that it will hopefully bring. So the next hobby that I want to suggest to you is going on adventures in a trailer or an RV and going camping, road tripping, seeing the world around you. Of course, many of us don't have the money to go out and buy a brand new trailer or RV, but there is always the possibility to rent one for a couple weeks in the summer, or you could buy one that's really old and fix it up as a little DIY project. Nobody really knows what the status of COVID is gonna be in summer of 2021, but if it's still around and you wanna do a little bit of traveling and adventuring, going in a trailer or an RV and road tripping is a safe way to still get your travel in this summer. This next hobby idea is for all my foodies out there and that is cookie making and decorating. I have seen the most beautiful cookie decorations on Instagram. I follow a few people who make and decorate cookies for special events as a business and I'll put a couple pictures up on the screen so that you guys know what I'm talking about. These are all the rage right now for different events. People just make a sugar cookie and then decorate them with super beautiful designs. They personalize them for like graduations or weddings. They're really good party favors. And a lot of people really love these right now. So I think this would be a super fun business or side hustle to start. And if you don't wanna do it as a business, you could just do it as a hobby and share your creations with your friends on social media. If you love planning and organization, you are gonna love this next hobby idea. And that is planner journaling. There is a whole world out there of people who love planning, who use these big intricate planners and use activities and stickers to plan their whole life. There are YouTube channels on this, blogs on this, and there are a lot of Etsy shops who sell stickers dedicated just to different types of planners. So if you're someone who really likes stationery and you can sit down for hours planning, doodling, and writing lists, I know this hobby is perfect for you and you're really gonna enjoy it. Okay, everyone, that is it for my 2021 hobbies video. I really hope you liked it and that it gave you some ideas of hobbies to try in the new year. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit the red subscribe button if you're new. Down below in the comments, please leave me a comment letting me know what hobby you wanna try in 2021. And down below in the description, I have my Etsy shop, my Facebook page, my Instagram page, my email, all of that stuff that you need to reach me on other platforms. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.